What is going on, everyone? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. It's another Monday, and we're doing a Monday Night Live. I did a Monday Night Live last week, I think, but that's just how it goes. Uh, whenever I'm free to hop on here, that's what I'm doing. We're going to talk today about bags and boards. <laughs> this is obviously always a very important topic of discussion. If you guys are watching this on the replay, this is going to be a live stream that can easily be uh, watch to, you know, just educate yourself. And I am definitely looking for continued feedback from the community on this topic of discussion. So we're going to take a few minutes to let some folks get in. Ghost Junk, what's going on? Um, this is carrying over from a video that I uploaded um, yesterday, actually. And I'm going to, we're going to watch some of that video today and i'm also going to show off i got some product here that we're going to show off and talk about live as well um now let's just go over some updates uh for the channel before we get into today's topic of discussion of course if you guys aren't subscribed please please do so so close to thirteen thousand subscribers and when we hit that i'm going to be doing a giveaway um we got comic book canon coming up not this sunday because of father's day but the following sunday we're back live all right so one week off from the canon what else do i got coming up um i do want to let everyone know uh too that uh you guys can right now save 10 percent off of crafty comics supplies if you guys aren't familiar with crafty comics they make amazing uh frames gt what's going on so look at this this is uh a wood kind of like a more charcoaly wood grain with a black border on this awesome Chavo Bozeman tribute spawn comic book. So right now you guys can save 10% with the code JFAN10. I'm going to put that in the, in, into the, uh, the comments here. Mark what's going on. That's uh craftycomics.com. Use code JFAN10 to save 10% off. This is just one beauty that I have from them as well. Comic Journey. Don't you feel it's a bias to review supplies when you're being sponsored by BCW? Okay. I'm, we'll talk about that, Comic Journey. We'll talk about that. First off, I'm not sponsored by BCW. I am a, an affiliate. There is a difference. I know it's similar, but there is a difference. Um, My affiliation, though, with BCW has nothing to do with what I do. I can do whatever I do. Usually sponsorships come with, um, you can't have a conflict of interest. I can say whatever the hell I want about BCW. Just like I said in that video yesterday, I think people are crazy if they buy Mylar bags from BCW because while they're the most high quality Mylar bag out there because they're essentially the same Mylar bag as E-Gerber's, you can find them cheaper by buying them with E-Gerber. I can say that because I'm not sponsored by BCW. I am an affiliate. All right. But we're going to, uh, Comic Journey, we're going to talk more about that. We are. But if you know me, you probably already know the answer to that. <laughs> so let's take a few more minutes before we get into this topic of discussion today. Man, guys. So, oh, I got a video coming up this week unboxing an awesome key from none other than Spider Dude Comics, this is what they send you in, in, in your packages. Spider Dude Comics, I got another package from them. I got a key that I've been hunting for years. So that video is recorded. I just need to upload it. That's going to be uh, popping up sometime uh, this week as well. Uh, let's see, to my Patreon members, we will be having our uh, Q&A within probably the next two weeks, all right? So I would have done it this weekend, but my son graduated high school. It was a very crazy weekend. So definitely look out for that as well. So uh, yeah, man, guys. All right, let's see. <sighs> Shall we get into this topic of discussion? Shall we just do it? Comic book Chris. <laughs> Coffee ready. All right. I heard that. I heard that. Guys, bags and boards. I've done many bags and boards video funny thing i was just at my son's graduation and i had someone someone coming up to me they're like yo journos from youtube 
Like I I watch your bags and board video. They've helped me out so much. Da, 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 da. It's important, guys. We spend a crap load of money on comma book supplies. We don't even think we most of us probably don't even think about it when we're doing it. I don't care about unnecessary and necessary criticism. I don't I don't care what's I'll I'll put this up here too, comma journey. Um there definitely is a no, there's not a conflict of interest. There is not a conflict of interest at all. And I'll explain why. And yeah, I know I'm opening myself up for criticism because people want to criticize and I really don't care. I could care less because I know who I am and I know what I do and I know what I'm doing here. So because I have an affiliation with BCW, I can't talk about BCW or any other product because at the end of the day, I am a journalist. Who pays Who pays for your local or even your national news to be on the air? Advertisers. So if McDonald's is advertising on your 10 o'clock news and there is a, a recent news um, you know, situation that somebody got poisoned at a McDonald's restaurant from bad meat. Just because there was a McDonald's commercial ran, does that mean that those news broadcasters aren't going to report on people being poisoned by bad meat from McDonald's? No, they're going to report the news. And that's how I look at it. You know what? I, I have uh, affiliation, affiliates and sponsorships that help me pay my bills and help this channel going because I provide free content for all of you. Everybody watching here every single day, you watch my videos, you watch my live streams, you don't got to do nothing but pay for your internet. <laughs> I ain't asking you for a dime. I mean, you could be a member or a Patreon member, but that's all, uh, you know, up to you. I'm not forcing anybody's hand. You don't got to pay for anything to come on my channel and listen to me rant, talk, yell, speak, whatever it may be. Show off comics, talks about, talk about bags and boards. So yeah, I have agreements and take on sponsorships and affiliates. But here's what I'll tell everyone again, everyone again. I've turned down more sponsorships than I have accepted. Why? Because I'm not a commercial. I'm not a commercial. I am not just going to sit here and robotically tell you to support something. Just because they're putting money in my pocket. Never. I will never be that person. I only pick sponsorships or affiliates to work with that I back 100%. You want to know how? And and I don't even I like I don't even get paid by uh Crafty Comics whatsoever. I don't get paid. The that I asked them to send me I found them. I found Crafty Comics and I said, "Yo, I like what you're doing. Send me a couple products and I'll show them off. And they said, well, I'll create a, a discount code for you too. And I said, let's do it. And quite honestly, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to actually be 100% transparent. When they first created the, the discount code, they said, uh, anybody that uses the discount code, I'll give you 5%. This was two years ago now. All right. I took a little bit of money in from that 5% and then we stopped the discount code because it was for a temp temporary time. Limited time. You know what I told him? You know what I told him? I said, hey, look, reinstate that discount code if you think it's going to help people come to your website and buy product. And I don't want a dime. I don't want a dime. You can go ask the, the CEO of Crafty Comics and they'll tell you straight up that I told him that. I didn't ask for a dime. I actually denied it. I said, I don't want it. That's what I do. If I thought Crafty Comics was crap, I wouldn't even have asked them to send me product or to talk about them whatsoever. Ultra Pro. Ultra Pro Comic Supplies. If Ultra Pro asked me, even before I did anything with BCW, if they asked me to, be a, uh, to, 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 to have them as a sponsor or to be an affiliate with them, you know what I would have said? I said, thank you. Maybe if it was the 90s when I used to use you guys for the, the uh, card sleeves because they were the best ones out there. 
maybe I would. But right now, especially for comic books, absolutely not. Because I don't buy your product. And when I am in desperate need of product and I don't, like I go to an LCS and all they have is Ultra Pro and I have to buy a bag. I have to buy a hundred pack of Ultra Pro. I'm like, oh, because I don't back up Ultra Pro. Do you want to know why I have an affiliate with BCW? You guys want to know why I have an affiliate with BCW? Because I reached out to them. I reached out to BCW. And you can ask them. You want to give me you want me to give you my, my point of contact? BCW didn't reach out to me. I reached out to them and said, Hey, I love your product. I don't only use your product, but I use so much of it. I would love, I would love to do a video talking about your product. And they told me about their affiliate program. And I said, hey, sign me up because I'm already talking about it anyways. When I did my first big comic book supply videos where I showed off the different boxes and um, bags and I talked about Mylar next to Polly. I didn't have any affiliate affiliation with BCW at that time. But when I started doing that and then started looking into BCW and reached out to them, that's when it happened. I have turned down so many sponsorship requests. So I just want to make that clear. So today, just like on my video that I uploaded yesterday, when I talk about comic supplies today and when I talk about these different brands, I am giving you the real me in my opinion that has nothing to do with the fact that I have an affiliation with BCW. Like I said, it ain't a sponsorship. I'm not in some kind of contract whatsoever. I will tell you, once again, before we even get into it, I will tell you, you can use my discount code and go to bcw.com and save money. But I'll tell you, even if you do that and you buy Mylar bags from BCW, you're spending more money than you could for the same bag from E. Gerber. That's Mylar. That's just Mylar. So if this was a conflict of interest, I wouldn't sit, be sitting here telling all of you that are here right now and anybody that's going to watch this, I wouldn't be sitting here telling you, don't use my code and buy Mylar bags from BCW. Go to E. Gerber. I wouldn't be telling you that because all I would care about is my little 5% that I get off my sales. My little pennies that I get off, the, off of your guys' sales when you use my code. I would sit here and talk it up. BCW Mylar bags are better than E Gerber. And then someone might say, Hey, Chris, they're like twice the prices you can find them on E Gerber. Well, guess what? So and so, BCWs are way better. I highly recommend spending more money on BCW because you're getting a premium product. No, no, you're not. BCW Mylars and E Gerber Mylars are manufactured by the same people. Don't use my code and go to bcwsupplies.com and buy Mylar bags. Go to E Gerber and buy them there and save yourself some money. There you go. All right. No conflict of interest at all. I don't know how much more I can make that clear, but there it is. So, with that being said, let's read us uh, a few comics and then we're going to get into the heart of this discussion today. Nope, there is not, and I hope I made that clear. Mark, somebody else has said has said journalist. That's you're not the first one, and it, it's a good tagline. So uh, thank you, combo book Chris. Thank you, thank you for uh appreciating the passion. I know some people may not like it. Let's see what Council of Comics has to say here. And again, guys, I actually appreciate you guys saying this. I don't, I'm not like mad at you. Like this is, it, it brings up, it's valid because people are going to have perception. People are going to perceive things the way they want to perceive. So by you guys bringing this up and us talking about it, it gets stuff out in the open, right? We understand that you back the products you endorse. There's no question. But ethically, you can't talk bad 
about another company that's selling the same product you endorse for another company. But ethically, you can't talk bad about another company that's selling the same product you in. Yes, I can, because I'm not in, I haven't, I haven't signed any contract that says I can't do whatever. I, you know what? The, the, the contract that I sign is only based on if anybody, we're going to give you this code and anybody that uses this code, we're going to give you your little 5% pennies from it. That's all. There is no contractual agreement that shuts me up. If I want to talk bad about BCW products, I will talk bad about BCW products. If they want to suspend my affiliation with them, go ahead. Because there's nothing contractual that says that I can't speak my mind about BCW, good or bad. Nothing. And if they tried to put a, put a chokehold on me, I'll take them to court. I'll take them to court. There, I have signed no agreement that keeps me from saying anything about BCW, about Ultra Pro, about Comic Pro Line, about anybody else that sells BCW at all, whatsoever. Nope. It is not, there's no question of ethics here, except for my own personal ethics and how I choose to operate. Because yes, even though there's nothing contractual, I'm not obligated one way or the other contractually, a lot of people will take the money and they'll just sales pitch it up and be like, yeah, BCW, da 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 da, da. That ain't me. Brandon, what's going on? <laughs> comic journey you're hilarious gary what's going on k-pop what's going on comic ozzy is in the house what's going on comic ozzy good to see you hanging out comic ozzy doing big things on whatnot guys so go follow him over there he's an awesome honest dude too Let's see what Descending Climax has to say. I agree with you on comic pro line bags. They don't hold. I won't buy them for anything just because the sides bust very easily. Those 56 point boards, on the other hand, those look awesome. Absolutely. And we'll get into that. And this is why there's no conflict of interest because I'm telling you guys to buy a certain product from another company as well. Not just the Mylar. Mylar's from E Gerber, fullback type boards from Comic Pro Line. Standard poly bags and boxes and standard boards from BCW. Nothing from Ultra Pro. That's just my opinion. But we're going to get into that. Question. How many years can a comic book be inside a BCW bag board before your comic starts yellowing? I live in the desert, low humidity. This is a great question, comic book Chris. As many as you want. Because polypropylene does not yellow. There you go. Polyethylene yellows. Polypropylene should not yellow. Now you got to keep in mind, and I always tell people this. The, 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 the product, the bag, the board, the box that you put it in. That's not even half. It's not even half of how you protect your comics. The number one way you protect your comics, environment. The number one way you protect your comics is the environment. You can store your bags in mylar with, with acid-free fullbacks. Excuse me, your comic books. You can store your comic books in mylar bags with acid-free fullbacks. But if you don't have your comic books in a proper environment, your comic books will, uh, there could be detriments to your comic books and how you're storing them. It starts with environment, low humidity, um, watch for extreme temperatures, no sunlight, and very minimal even inside light because certain lights give off more UV rays than, than others. That's why even if you have blackout windows, even if you have blackout windows, if you have comic books displayed on your wall, as even in slabs, because slabs are not UV protected except for EGS slabs, there is, you know, a minimum amount of UV rays coming from 
uh, inside lights. So never put inside lights directly on a book. That That's my recommendation. Never shine even inside lighting directly on a book. Obviously, sunlight's the worst. Those direct UV, lay, UV rays will fade those books so quick. Mickey Vasquez, what's going on? All right, let's see what we got. Let's see. Brenda says, if you have a sponsorship affiliation with one company, as long as it is disclosed, then you can offer point of view on other companies' products. And then we pull on our big boy pants and make our own decisions. Ah, Brandon, you know, I always love your, your perspective. It's like, you you have such a good, like, no BS, you know, straight to the point, boom, contextualized opinions. And I love it. I always appreciate it. Jeff. Let's see what Jeff here has to say. I think you're missing a very important point. Product can be manufactured at the same place, but you can control material in the processing, which affects cost. Um, I'm not missing a point, Jeff, because I know 100% that they come from the same supplier. That's what I mean. BCW Mylars and Egerber Mylars come from the same supplier. They don't, it's not that they're manufacturing in the same place and we are conducting a different type of manufacturing for each to, that would change the quality. So I see what you're saying. They are supplied by the same wholesale provider. They are the same product, period. Not all Mylars are made the same, but again, I'm going to reiterate your BCW Mylars and your, and your uh, E-Gerber Mylars are manufactured wholesale by the same supplier. They are exactly the same product. They're just throwing a different label on them. Comics Embrace, what's going on? Let's see what uh, Council of Comics, appreciate. Yeah, appreciate you being here. And uh, again, great uh great discussion i mean we haven't even gotten into like the heart of the discussion and you guys are just bringing up such great talking points i love it it's not about the contract between you and the company but more so the relationship between you and your viewers and the ability to influence where they go a absolutely and where they buy their i i agree see and that's what i was saying i don't know if you typed this before i was saying this it's all about my my viewers it's all about me giving my viewers the ability to trust my intent and my own personal ethics, right? I think cancel the comics, that's what you're trying to say here. It is about the contract because you got to understand if there is a contract, am I going to be stipulated into, um, you know, not saying something? So we start there. There is no contract, right? There's, I'm not binded to say anything about any company, but then yes, now it goes back to what am I ethically doing on my own terms? How do I want to influence my buyers or my, my, my viewers and how they spend their money? Let me tell you how I want to influence my, buy, my <laughs> let me tell you how I want to influence my viewers, Council of the Comics right now, and how they spend their money. I want to influence them with the truth. I want to influence them with the truth so they can autonomously Spend their money on what they feel is the best. I want to educate them and I want them to be able to make sound decisions. I don't want them buying something just because I give them a discount code where I can make pennies off of their order. And that is the truth. And we're going to get to it today still. I promise you that. <laughs> Dale, thank you. Uh, Ultra Pro, okay. Here's the thing with Ultra Pro. While Ultra Pro isn't, I mean, they're not garbage. I used to use Ultra Pro before I switched to BCW. Um, and, and back then it was like, I didn't really see a difference. I do believe it was somewhere around 2017 that Ultra Pro changed their bag. Now, I don't think they got thinner, but there was something that started happening in their manufacturing process. So who, who made a comment about, I think it was Jeff, who made a comment about you might be using the same manufacturer facility, but I think this is what Ultra Pro did with how they manufacture their combat bags. They changed something, whether it was in the chemical makeup of the 
uh, of the propylene or, you know, uh, what's the proper name, the whatever, you know, the, the, the plastics, right? before they go into manufacturing or they did something within the manufacturing process. I don't know, but they started not, they weren't fitting the same. They got more loose. Um, oftentimes, you know, when you have like your modern bag, it's supposed to be like what six in uh, six to seven H like every, even in 100 pack, like the first 10 would be like really stretched. Like there'd be extra space. And then the next 10 would be like way too tight. and they 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 wave and wrinkle really really fast. I show you guys. I dated. I have put comic books with new backing boards in Ultra Pro bags and BCW bags. I did videos on this, and I wrote the date that I put them in the new bags and boards. Okay, I wrote the date, and I went and pulled them out. I had Ultra Pro bags that looked completely wavy after like six months and I had BCW bags that were still perfectly smooth after like three years. This, and this is no lie. And this was part of my decision to start using more BCW over ultra pro. So when you ask me what my beef is that right there, you know, I, I mean, that that's just my, my personal experience over the years and, and what I've figured out for myself. Wow, Craig, that's crazy. That's crazy to know. Yikes. <laughs> I hear you, right? Yep, yep, yep. Or they're going to turn into uh, freaking crazy gremlins. Okay, guys. So, man, a lot of great stuff. Let, let's, let's get into this, okay? This is what we're going to do. I made a video yesterday, and here's the funny thing, and I'll tell you guys, I am fighting the algorithms right now when it comes to YouTube because I had a lot of personal stuff going on in my life in the beginning of the year and or so, and um, I wasn't really making content, and um, it's crazy because my my comic like supply videos used to be some of my biggest videos, and this one just wasn't getting pushed in the algorithms, and I know they're not getting pushed because I can look at the click-through rate. So that's like click-through rate versus impressions. I'm going to give you guys a little lingo so you understand here real quick. Um, impressions is how many times it's like if you're scrolling YouTube on your computer or your phone, how many times you see the little thumbnail, right? Click-through rate is the percentage of how many times somebody actually clicks on it next to, the, next to how many times they're seeing it, right? My click-through rates, even on that video, have been above average for the average YouTube channel, but yet YouTube just isn't pushing it out to people as much. So I'm fighting algorithms. I really wanted more people to see this video yesterday to really lead their thoughts. There was a lot of comments and a lot of interactions, but I was hoping for a lot more. So, you know, maybe if you guys haven't watched that video, um, you can check it out and share it. I'm going to show some of it today, but let me show you guys right here. Oh, I did the video talking about I, I went and spent money. I spent over $100 at Comic Pro Line because if you guys don't know, I talked about Comic Pro Line last year, building them up because I was like, these bags can be a, a cheap alternative to my Lars. But then I started using the pack that I got and they all started splitting. And I came back and said, hold up, guys. I was just talking good about Comic Pro Line in my last video. I wouldn't touch these things. It took me a year, but I finally purchase the product. I got bags. I got some of their Mylar bags. I got some of their standard backing boards and I got some of their um, 56 point boards. I have a bag right here. That's a comic pro line and a standard BCW. Um, what do you call this? Poly bag, a PP. So this is a PP polypropylene. This is a OPP. Let me tell you something right now before we get into the video about OPP. I can't explain it. I'll take your frame up. now. <laughs> Some of you may get that. Anyways, OPP <laughs> versus PP. <laughs> Standard polypropylene um, versus uh, the OPP, which is uh, basically a um, 
oriented polymer, polypropylene. All right. Now there's pros and cons. Now Comic Pro Line pushes the OPP as this super clear alternative, right? But I'm going to tell you right now what, and I didn't, I, I talked about this a little bit in the video, but I'm going to talk about it more right here. The OPP Comic Pro Line bags and, and their Mylar bags aren't crystal clear. I'm sorry, they're not. I'm holding this up to a standard BCW regular poly bag right now. And quite honestly, they're either the same clarity or actually the OPP bag for Comic Pro Line is a little more cloudy. And another thing, that, and here's the thing, guys, it's very hard for you guys to see this stuff on camera, but there are actually, yeah, you can't see that. There, I I think what I think is going on that's adding to the cloudiness of the um of the comic pro lines is when the plastic is going through the manufacturing process you see these kind of like cloudy streaks that go like this on the bag. And I think it's when the plastic is being ran through the machine. And you see it. You can see it. I can see lines going through the plastic. Whereas if I hold up the BCW standard pro poly bag, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Sometimes you will get kind of like a, uh, like a Newton ring type of texture I see a little bit down here when the bag is sticking to itself. But if you open it up, that goes away. Like, yeah, that, that was just kind of like moisture sitting between the two bags. That goes away. So quite honestly, I'm challenging. And again, I'm not talking crap about Comic Pro Line. I want Comic Pro Line to succeed. I think they have opportunity to better their product here. I'm seeing streaks on their bags. And somebody made a comment in the video yesterday saying something else that could be adding to the cloudiness of the Comic Pro line is that um, they're using recycled polymers instead of virgin polymers. And I said, hey, I that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. So we, what I would love to do, I would love to have a conversation with Comic Pro line's owner and really get more information because here's the thing about me guys anytime i talk about a company and i'm critical about them it's only because i want them to succeed unless there's something else there and i'll tell you guys that i want comic pro line to succeed i do but i wanted to point that out i wanted to point that out even the um their mylar bags aren't as clear as bcw and e-gerber mylar bags and i talk about that in the video yeah, you know me. <laughs> I'm glad uh, some of you guys got it. Yep, yep, Christian. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to play, I'm going to start playing this video. And we're going to watch it through. And I'm going to be reading the live comments as we go. I want you guys to interact. This is going to be an interactive uh, video watch, okay? And I'm going to pause the video whenever I feel I need to get back into discussion with you guys, okay? So, grab your popcorn, uh, and uh, here we go. Let's pull this up and uh, make it happen. What is going on, YouTube? Chris with Journals, comments of popcorn. I do want to know, let me guys know. Give me a thumbs up or a, or a yes, yes, if you guys can hear the video and you guys hear it loud and clear. Let me Let me get a... A thumbs up just to make sure we're all good culture i have a box here that's pretty heavy from comic pro line that just showed up on my porch i ordered over 100 dollars worth of comic book supplies from comic pro lines website they are coming out of canada folks if you're not familiar with them now this is what we're going to do today i'm going to open this box up i'm going to show you guys everything that i purchased and then I'm going to uh, get some comic books. We're going to put some bags and boards on some comic books. And we're going to really look at the product. We're going to test the product out. And I'm going to give you my complete honest opinion. Let me stop it right there. And just so everyone knows, I have a link in the description of this live stream.
for a link to Comic Pro Line if you guys want to go buy some of their supplies. To um, E Gerber if you want to buy supplies. And yeah, of course, BCW where you can use my code to get a discount. All of those links, though, are equally below. And you have equal access to take in my honest review and see it for yourself and to go spend your money where you choose. Let's fast forward a little bit. Ha <laughs> comment, Chris. I just saw your comment about the um the book. BCW products and most was like because I'm a man of my word. I came on the next day and made a video. Stay so, away from this product. I, I was just telling, I was just saying here what I just told you guys about what I did a year ago. So we're gonna fast forward this a little bit still. So it took me a year of your orders. That's in the description on this video. Yeah, this is um, silver, regular size. This is a seven and one eight inch. All right, so I got a hundred pack of those. There's another one. Now, they also have Mylar bags. So I went ahead and tried out uh, their Mylar. It says Comic Pro Line Mylar, uh, two mil. They feel a little thinner just in the bag, but we got to open those up than your standard uh, E Gerber or even BCW Mylar because for those that don't know, BCW Mylar bags and E-Gerber Mylar bags are manufactured by the same people. All right, here we go. Here's some regular size bags, the, the two mil OPP. Regular size bags, two mil OPP. Regular size bags, two mil OPP. And by the way, they were having a sale. So that was another thing that really got me to say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finally do this. Um, and uh, a current size, six and seven, eight inch, I'm going to get to the, let's four as well, but these are 28. You probably can't even see it on screen. They are very clear and they do have more of that kind of very thin. It's hard to even describe it, but they're not as, um, what's the word? I don't want to say latex C is a standard polypropylene, but. Okay. And now let me add context to that here too, because you know, I like to do my research. So. Standard polypropylene is more stretchable, okay? Where the OPP oriented polypropylene from Comic Pro Line is supposed to be more durable, right? But it doesn't mean that it's thicker. It just has a different feel, and that's what I learned. All right. It is a different feel. They're still technically they should be uh that, that your your two mil uh in, in in thickness so yeah uh, opp is supposed to be less stretchable all right you know they have more of that sturdy feel but they are super thin now i'm going to test something here i'm going to put my hand in here oh look at that i barely moved it i barely moved it i guys i didn't put any and it it's splitting it just split Not not looking good so far. So again, it's like I bear I'm guys, I really hope you could see. Let's try like I'm not even I I'm like just kind of oh look at that. Boom. I mean I'm not even putting any real pressure on it. And and it's splitting. Look at that. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys real quick here. This is a standard BCW. And these are new. These bags are new. I just bagged and boarded some books. So these are BCW bags that came, you know, straight out the 100 pack. See, this one's not. This one's not. I, and again, I'm putting much more. I'm putting much more pull on these than I was the um, Comma Pro lines. But yeah, you see there, this one ripped a little on that side. So here's the thing. They are definitely still, the, the Comic Pro line OPP bags are 100% more vulnerable to splitting. All right, I want to stop it right there too. And if you guys saw, I mean, I really was. This is a BCW bag here too. And I mean, I'm like really yanking it 
and you guys see it did rip a little here where um all I, for for the uh wait a minute yeah that's the for the um comic pro like i barely look at that i barely even touched it i barely touched it and, and it ripped i really got a yank at a bcw bag to get it to i'm pulling really hard so so and again look if i was sitting here um having a bias because i don't want you to buy bcw bags i wouldn't even be showing like that they're ripping but again and because they strip look at that it finally snapped there again but there we go i got a really uh tug and pull to get that open whereas the um comic pro line i mean they just split so easily now while i was filming this video i was like okay well they're not i feel like they're doing a little better than they did a year ago but i was actually bagging and boarding books last night and i went to uh let's see here's the comic pro line let's get another comic pro line book a bag out let me i'm gonna pull me up on big on screen here comic pro line let's see will these fit I think these are the current. So I got my comic pro line bag. I got my um my board. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay. And where's the comic book? Let's get a comic that is not bagged and boarded. So if I have if I have this and I was putting my finger in just like this, see right there, it just did it. I just put my finger in here just a little bit to get the book in. It already it already ripped and i'll show you guys right there right there see that so i haven't even gotten the book in yet i'll put that in and it's got about a, a half inch rip going down the side right there you can fold that over tape it um you know when you go into the book or go into the book go into the bag so another way though that you could put your comics into your bags is by setting it with the board and getting your this again this is another uh comic pro line bag putting it in like this and trying to slide in the corner right there without it hitting the book because then I'm not really putting my finger in it. And that got in okay without any splits at all. So that's good. You know, I'm not just trying to sit here and rip every bag for you guys to think that, you know, they're that flimsy. But still, right in half. Again, here's that other one that just ripped a little bit right there. Let's again, so see, I didn't even see that. I just opened it up and the other side ripped. And I'm not even like, I am being so gentle. So gentle when pulling these. So, ah, man, it's it's tough. Let's, let's look at some comments here. Comic Ozzy does say that he uses uh, Comic Pro lines. All my customers are super happy with the product use, especially people. Okay, now let me say, so I'm not even gonna, I don't know, guys. I, I don't even need to show more of the video. I, I really don't because you guys can go watch that. And I'm here today to say basically the same thing with even more context. I and I went on the video here. Actually, we're, we're going to bring it up here just in case you guys don't know. You know, I I um, showed how they fit in 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 the bags in with the boards. The cake, but it's buying the standard right here. I also went online and compared prices, all right? And I based, well, if you, you know, I, I think that the, for example, Comic Pro Line Mylars were pretty solid bags. I showed in the video how it seems that they have lower quality, you know, whatever they use to burn the bags together on the sides, <laughs> hence why the OPPs are ripping. But the mylars, you could see there's little pieces of plastic, like it was burnt and shriveled up, and they didn't clean the edges off. Some of them weren't um, 
straight down. They kind of like went in and sealed in. And, but they're a lot more durable than the OPPs. And I said, man, like for the money, for the price point, unless you're buying, um, actually, I, I think the eGerber website was like maybe a dollar two or more per 50 than your comic pro line. So I think I did say maybe I would, I would buy eGerber Mylar still just because I know they're a little better quality. When you buy them in bulk, they are cheaper than the Comet Pro line still. But hey, if you just need a bag of 50 um, Mylars from Comet Pro line, they're not bad. They're not bad. And I broke down the prices. Now, when it comes to the 56-point board, though, I said hands down. The My favorite thing from what I ordered from Comet Pro line is the 56-point is the boards. If you want a fullback, Remember, E. Gerber just recently changed their fullbacks. They're only like 32 point now, and they're garbage. They are not worth your money. I, I always said halfbacks aren't worth your money. Garbage. The fullbacks aren't even worth your money now. For what you're paying, and I don't have the price right now, go check on the Comic Pro Line website. Their link is below. If you want a thick board, buy Comic pro line 56 point boards and here i am here i am conflict of interest if i was just out here trying to sell you on bcw i wouldn't be saying this i still believe though that bcw has the best and the best pricing in uh in bulk on standard boards if you don't want to spend that much money and you just want a nice you know uh glossed half coat board buy bcw um, I got the standard boards from Comic Pro Line, and they're okay for their money. Um, they they don't have as smooth as a cut as, as BCW, and um, their gloss isn't really, it, it doesn't feel much as a gloss. Um, but, I mean, they're solid for the price. That's the standard board. I think, you know, they feel just a little bit lower quality than your BCWs. But I could save money, you know, buying in bulk from BCW. And then, of course, there is a discount code that you can use. I would stick with BCW on the standard standard boards. But hands down, whenever I buy uh, thick backing boards, I'm going to buy from now on Comic Pro Line 56-point boards. So anytime I need to re-up on my boards for either my keys or my Silver Age books, that's what I usually use the fullbacks for, I'm buying Comic Pro Line 56-point boards. All right? Now, when it comes to the bags, though, you know, Comic Ozzy, I just, and this is what I want from people that have experienced or purchased or have received books in Comic Pro line bags. I get back and forth. I get a lot of people that say they stand by him, and I get a lot of people that say they're crap, uh, they're splitting, I can't stand it. I've even had people in the comments of this recent video say um, that they've had a certain smell over time. And here's another thing about the OPP versus PP argument. OPP plastic does wrinkle over time. Now, I have never seen, I mean, outside of the bags that I got a year ago, I've never had Comic Pro line OPP bags in my collection. And the majority of those split in half and I had to throw them away. So I haven't seen a comic book in a comic pro line OPP bag for a long enough amount of time to see if they actually wrinkle. I would love to see that. And now that I have some, I, I will, I'll be keeping my eyes out over the next year or two or three or whatever it may be. Kelly Thomas, what's going on? I have not comic journey seen the vintage ones. I didn't buy any of those. Nope. <laughs> my fingers were ripped through the brands equally. So yeah, guys, I mean, look, here, here's the thing. I'm at a point right now where, and somebody asked this earlier in the show. What, what do you want your viewers to get out of this? Bro, Root, thank you. Appreciate it. 
Brandon, thank you. Um, we're talking about multiple brands, Brandon. But somebody asked earlier in the show, what do you want your viewers to take out of this? And I want you guys to take my God honest opinion. I I don't in okay. Let's do a hypothetical first. Let's say the OPPs didn't split. Let's say they just didn't split at all. And that wasn't a problem. I still don't know if I would buy the OPP over the standard polypropylene bag. And yes, I, I'm going to say BCW. You guys can say Ultra Pro or any other brand. I stand by BCW, not because I'm affiliated with them. You can still, now Comma Pro Line does have random sales. I am on their email list. They are in Canada, so shipping can be high, but BCW shipping can be high too. But if you order $100 worth of supplies, and I like to wait, I like to buy my supplies in bulk because you save money. You save money off of a lot of uh, retailers because you buy in bulk, you get cheaper per item, and you get free shipping. Free shipping $100 orders or more from Comma Pro Line. Free shipping from BCW with $100 orders or more as well. When you add, when you buy like, I think BCW bags start around like $7. I think, if I'm not mistaken, maybe it's less. And I think it's about the same. I think it's like $7.99 for the OPP Comma Pro Line bags. If you buy five packs, 100 packs, on their website from BCW, they, they go down per pack. If you buy 10 or more, they go down to like four something. I just don't even know if I would still buy Comic Pro Line bags over standard polypropylene bags. Because for me, when I actually look at it, when I'm actually looking at the books, like this is, this is a book that is in a comic pro line OPP bag. And I'm going to get another one here. Hold tight. This is a book that's in a BCW regular poly bag. Okay. When I'm looking at them, when I am looking at them, I don't see any difference in clarity. I'm putting them with the light gleaming off of them. I'm putting them without the light gleaming off of them. I don't see a difference in clarity. And remember earlier on in the show, I told you how the uh, Comic Pro lines do have a little bit of fog and they even have these types of lines that run through them. I mean, it's very hard to see that when the book is in the bag, you know. But the only real difference, quite honestly, is, is texture. The texture feels a bit more like a Mylar bag because it's that um, more, it feels sturdier and less latexy, less stretchy. Now, my perception, my perception is that even though I've had BCW regular poly bags that have not warped or wrinkled after years, I've had had other poly bags do that. Whereas I would think because of the more flex tight, I guess you could say, type of bag that the OPP is, you would think that these wouldn't wave. But so I've gotten comments on the video saying that theirs have waved and wrinkled. And I actually did my research. And in comparing the PP to the OPP, OPPs are stated to actually wrinkle. I have not experienced that myself. All right. So that is my personal take. 
hypothetically without these bags splitting so easily. But this goes to the title of this stream, or at least the thumbnail. I, in good conscience, this has nothing to do, nothing to do with my affiliation with BCW because I spent over $100 at Comic Pro Line wanting to be proven wrong. I wanted to be proved wrong. Metro, what's going on? And I wasn't. You can see my face in that video on how disappointed I was on how easily the bags continue to split. I cannot in good conscience recommend a bag that splits that easy to any of my viewers. I can't. Can I recommend their standard backing boards? Sure, they're a good quality and they're a good price. If they have a sale and you could get them at an even better price, sure. I personally still would recommend going with BCW boards because you could still get them cheaper in bulk. And I think they're slightly better quality. Are their Mylar bags decent? They're decent for the price. Go to Comic Pro Line and buy some Mylar bags before you go to BCW, even though BCWs are a better quality. But remember, guys, before you even go to Comic Pro Line, go to E Gerber because they're better quality. And if you buy in bulk, they'll be cheaper. You see what I'm saying here? If you want thick boards, go to Comic Pro Line. If you want comic book boxes, go to BCW. I mean, I'm being as humble as I can. And yes, Guys, look, any order that you use on BCW, please use my code because you could save money and you can even save more because there's a special 20% off right now. And ironically, yeah, I'm talking about this while BCW is having this bigger promotion. But here's the truth. I filmed this video that I published yesterday before I even knew about this promotion with BCW. But it just took that long for me to edit it all together. It's a long video. I, I filmed it in three different parts. And I needed to upload it. I wanted it to upload it. I didn't want to wait till the end of the month when this promo was done. But I'm being as honest as I possibly can. This is what I want from Comic Pro Line. Uh, hold on real quick. Be, before I answer my own statement here, this is what I want for Comic Pro Line. I want to read a couple comments. No, uh, hey, Seed, I'm saying personally, I cannot recommend Comic Pro Line's regular OPP bags. I just can't. I can't because they just split too easily. And quite honestly, I'm not, I'm not seeing that the hype in them, like being these crystal clear bags. I mean, they're just. I mean, they're pretty, darn, they're, they're clear. They're they're clearer than polyethylene bags that really aren't on the market that much anymore. But they're a bit foggy. And again, somebody said they might be using recycled polymers. I don't know. Um, But I don't see them being any clearer than BCW regular bags. They're not thicker, but they're a sturdier plastic. And yeah, the thicker 56-point boards are absolutely amazing. Where are they? I got them around here somewhere. They're amazing. I love them. Comic Pro Line for thick 56-point backing boards. Absolutely. Sign up to their mailing list uh, because they do have, it seems like they have sales often. But also sign up for BCW or, you know, whatever. Check out E Gerber for Mylar. So this is what I want from Comic Pro Line, okay? I I, I want to know if they're using recycled polymers or virgin. And if they can somehow, if they are using recycled, because it is a recyclable plastic, if there's any way that they can go to virgin without 
increasing their costs by a crazy amount. I think that could be something that really pushes that crystal clear red, you know, slogan that they're pushing, right? But more so than that, more so than that, I would like to see them take this feedback and look at how they are, whatever point in the manufacturing process, that it's a heat sealant. I mean, that's how they're sealing their bags. It's a heat sealant of some sort. You have two, you have two pieces of plastic that get sealed, that get heat sealed together. And that's for their Mylar bags too. I want them to at least sit at the table. And I don't know, you know, how many people work for Comet Pro Line and, and how many people sit down if they have a board and if they're sitting there making decisions, if they sit quarterly and look at, you know, their their P and L and 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 what what they're bringing in and if they can whether it's money or time or both and sit and say we got a product here because they do I've heard more and more about Comic Pro Line over the last five years they got a product here and every company no matter how big they are should and could could and should always improve themselves whether it's their product, their customer service, or all that together. I believe the Comic Pro line needs to sit down at the table and say, how do we continue to work on having a better seal for our bags? And that includes their Mylar bags. Now, when I was doing the Mylar, you know, they were, they were much more sturdy. You guys can watch the video and see. But remember, it, it wasn't a clean sealant. You could see like the shriveled up plastic, how the heat was, you know, and it wasn't clean. Where BCW and E Gerber Mylars, you can't even tell that a heat sealant. I mean, it's it's perfectly clear and smooth. How can Comic Proline better their sealant on their sides? So they don't split so easy. And again, bags are going to split. It's plastic. You saw me put some muscle into the BCW poly bag and it snapped. It took a lot more. It was more of a pop, pop, pop because it's a stretchy plastic. And it finally went pop and it kind of pops and splits. Whereas the OPP, like smooth splits all the way down. It, you know what I you know what I can relate this to when the when the when the comic pro line bag splits you know when you get the good wrapping paper you know when you get the good wrapping paper and you have the good sharp scissors I'm not talking about the dollar store wrapping paper or like cheap dollar store scissors where you're like <laughs> cutting the wrapping paper and it's like ripping and you know when you got that nice you know that nice metal sheer scissors in that nice like $5.99 a roll from Target wrapping paper. And you get the scissors right at the wrapping paper. And you don't even need to snit. And you just feel it hit. And it's this smooth slide all the way through. Who knows what I'm talking about. Come on. I do all the wrapping in my house. So that's what it's like when I barely put any muscle into the comic pro line opp bag and start to pull it apart it's that it's a smooth split that just keeps on going all the way down and i see that as a problem oh comic uh journey yeah i have a couple i have one i had one right here shoot where is it here, the showcases. Look, I mean, they're okay. Um, You know, you can use my code. <laughs> you can get 20% off of them right now if you use my code. Um, They got the little hanger. That's cool. And they're really easy to use. And you can get some that are UV protected. Um, and, and I like them. But... I, I will say, I mean, look, if and, and you know, for the price point, they're 
they're nice. They are they are nice. But I will go to another company that I I back, and that's um, Crafty Comics. These are definitely more money. You know, they're more of a custom. I mean, the better quality because you got that that wood grain, and you got you know a UV protectant plastic on the front. You you get to customize a bit better because you can color coordinate. You got you know they're like matted and framed. So, you know, if you're willing to spend more money for a bit a bit of a better display and a better quality, but you know the BCW showcases are decent for what they are and the price point. So I I have both. Yep. So, but anyways, guys, look again. You guys got links to each of these companies in the description below. Comic Pro Line has some good products that I can back up. BCW has a lot of products that I back up. E Gerber has products that I back up. Um, I am just still hesitant about Comic Pro Line's bags. All right. And that's just the honest truth. It's the honest truth. But and this is what I do recommend. If you're ever able to, and I know I, it's like you got to spend $100. I know it sucks. But look, here's the thing. I back I back their boards, right? I back their backing boards. If you are hesitant about Comic Pro Line bags as well, and you want to stick with BCW like me, or you want to stick with Mylar's from E Gerber like me, fine. But if you're buying backing boards from Comic Pro Line, right? And you spend a hundred dollars because you wait till you need some, and then you order in bulk to get that free shipping because they're in Canada. Slap on, slap on six more dollars or seven more dollars for a hundred pack of their OPP bags, and try them out for yourself. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. Nobody can make a decision for themselves until they try it out for themselves. Get them in your hands. And if you just spend seven bucks or whatever it is, maybe there's a sale and you get them for six, five bucks, buy a hundred pack and just make that decision. And then you could sit and say, you know what? I agree with Journal. Uh, I'm going to stick with my poly bags from BCW or my Mylar's, whatever. Or you can say, man, okay, they might split up a bit easy, but I'm okay with that. And I like them. You'll never know till you try. All right. So guys, I would love to continue this conversation. If you haven't watched the video that I uploaded yesterday, please go check that out. Um, again, I am here to challenge these entities, to better these entities, and to be honest with all of my viewers and for consumers out there to be as educated as they possibly can. You know, uh, it's nothing's black and white. All right? So I want to thank you guys for hanging out on this monday with me talking about bags and boards and uh man more to come uh might might have a, a a live stream this friday i don't know yet i do have a topic regarding miles morales and the future of modern key comics from modern characters that's going to be coming soon we'll see stay posted guys if you aren't subscribed to the channel please please do so uh, follow me over at Instagram at journos underscore comics. And again, go check out yesterday's video and uh, let's continue this conversation. I want to hear more thoughts from all you guys. So thank you so much. Be well, have a good rest of your day. Have a good week. Be good. Be good to yourselves. And until next time.